Hey, what's up guys? In today's video, I'm gonna be installing the LAW front license plate bracket. This is a no drill bracket. I really didn't want to install anything, any brackets or drill any holes in this front bumper. Honestly, I'd prefer if I didn't have to run this, but unfortunately I do live in the state of New York and they will love to give you a ticket if you don't have a front license plate. So I picked up this. I'm gonna put it in. It looks like it's gonna be pretty straightforward. There's only uh, like three steps. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do it and uh, I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's all done. So here we go. Alrighty, so this application is for a 2019 and up Toyota RAV4. It says hybrid on here. They weren't sure if this was gonna work for a 2021 Toyota RAV4 Prime. Hopefully it does. <laughs> We're gonna find out here shortly. And the first page just gives a parts breakdown of everything that's included with the package. Then on this one, this is step two, and it just shows you to put a couple of the longer bolts through the holes. I've already went ahead and I've got that done so I can show you guys what it looks like. There is a long bolt here, then there's a lock washer and a regular washer there, and it goes through these brackets here. And looking at this, you can't access the bottom side at all. So when I first saw it, I'm like, how the heck is this gonna work? But it looks like you start it with these guys here, and this is the bracket that goes behind the grill. So then you, I guess, just take it, and let's see, how am I gonna straighten it out? These brackets are supposed to fit behind, there we go. Oh, looks like they're actually just long enough to fit through the slats, so that's pretty nice. So push those through. All right, so that step is done. Now I assume I have to do the bottom two bolts. Let's check that out. All right, so yeah, I will snug down those top two bolts because I don't have them screwed in far enough and I definitely don't want those to fall inside the car because like I said, there's no access under here and if those slip off inside the car, then I gotta take off all this bottom. So I got the uh, little Allen wrench here that it comes with and I'm gonna just turn this and tighten this down a little bit more. And we're basically just sandwiching the front grill of this car. And so it comes with uh, two different lengths for screws. So you, I don't know if you can see against the black car. One is significantly shorter, one is definitely longer. The longer ones are the ones you need to go through the grill. The smaller ones, I haven't gotten there yet, but I assume that's for the license plate. So we just take a lock washer, slide that on first. Then we have a regular washer here. Hopefully these are stainless steel because we get winter here in New York. All right, so I got the two lower bolts on. I'm just kind of eyeballing it here and it looks like it's pretty straight. I could get a plumb bob out or something, but I think that looks like it's pretty straight. I'm already noticing though, I think there's still a potential for damage here because there's nothing on the back of this piece of metal to protect from scuffing the grill here. So it looks like this area right here, so a couple inches right there, and then the whole top grill going behind this could get scuffed up. I don't really plan on removing it unless I was selling it, but something to think about. Maybe an alteration could be that you put some foam underneath on the back side of this bracket here to just keep the rubbing to a minimal. Uh, I don't know, just something to think about that I'm noticing already. Other than that, the bracket seems strong. They seem well built. They're lightweight, so it's not steel. Feels like some kind of aluminum that's just powder coated. So far, I think it looks pretty good and it feels pretty good. What I also like is there's a sticker on here that says made in the USA. I didn't realize that when I purchased these, but of course that's always awesome. So now I'm just tightening these down. I'll read the instructions again to see if there's a torque rating. I wanna make sure, of course, I get these snug enough that it's not gonna fall off, but I also don't wanna like just pinch the grill and let it break or anything. All right, so that's screwed in. Let me check and see if there's any kind of torque ratings. All right, it doesn't say anything about a torque rating. It just says tighten all bolts until snug, but be sure not to over tighten as this can damage the grill. So I guess just tighten it down as much as you feel comfortable. And then on the last page, it just shows you how to attach this bracket to this plate right here. It doesn't show you how to attach the license plate and it doesn't show a license plate attached here. I assume, yeah, it just gets mounted like that. 
but it's just funny in the diagram how it doesn't show you the license plate. I guess you're just supposed to know. <laughs> so here we go, we're gonna attach the license plate and this bracket. First again, you take one of the smaller Allen bolts, put on the lock washer, put on a regular washer, and it's gonna go through the top. Might as well do the top first, that would make sense. And then on the back side, you're supposed to use one flat washer. And then for the other top right bolt, I take another short bolt, lock washer, flat washer, then it goes through, and then on the back side, a flat washer and a nut. I'm gonna have to get a wrench for this, so I'll be right back. All right, so I just got my wrench. It's an 11 millimeter. This says made in America, but 11 millimeter fit perfectly. So I've got that. I won't snug that down yet until I get the lower ones in place. So I'll do that now. Wow, this lower nut really should be longer. Let's see if I can get that on camera. That is as far in as it's going and they want a flat washer on that and a locking nut. Uh, yeah, that's not really happening. That should definitely be a longer bolt. Yeah, I'm looking at these instructions and I'm not seeing how they expect you to put a plate on here and a lock nut. Oh well, we'll give it a try and see what happens. Maybe the lock washer will cinch down enough to work. Wow, no man. Wow, there's not many threads there to grab. I've got it on there barely. Let's see. Oh. That just popped right off. All right, I'll try to tighten down this one first to hold it in place. I think maybe if I really wrench it down, it might catch the lock washer portion of this. We'll see. You think they would just include nuts that were just slightly longer. If they were a quarter inch longer, this wouldn't be a problem. It might have gone in just enough to catch the lock washer. If I push it anymore, it would probably strip. Man, that is close. Another thing you could probably do would be maybe get rid of the flat washer behind the plate, but it called for it. All right, it looks like it's all attached. You can kind of see the grill moving and flexing. So the wind is gonna hit this, and I really hope that grill is strong enough to Keep this on here and keep from breaking. What do you guys think? Is that gonna hold? Man, I might even just, I don't know. It's got a lot of flex to it. The whole front bumper is moving a bit. See all that movement? And if I'm going down the road at 60, 70 miles an hour, that's gonna be pushed way back here by the wind. Well guys, it looks like that's it. I double checked the instructions and that's, that's all of it. Pretty simple install. I hope it goes well. Let me know in the comments below what you think about all that movement and what you think of this plate. I hope it doesn't damage the grill in my car at all <laughs> or much. I do also wanna mention that this bracket isn't very cheap, unfortunately. I think it was like, 85 bucks, 90 bucks, somewhere right in there. And I was a little disappointed because I ordered this probably about a month and a half ago and it finally just arrived today. Thank God it's not super cold, but today is like November 16th or something. And I totally thought I was gonna be out here in the cold installing this, but I'm thankful we're having a good day. I think it looks pretty good. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Would you buy this thing? Or if you have any other ideas for people like me who live in states that will gladly ticket you and take your money if you uh, don't have a front license plate. Yeah, let me know if you have any other ideas. I thought about trying to find a bracket that would go in the tow hitch here, but that's a little too ricer for me. I didn't find one, but I didn't want to go that way anyway. But that's it for this video, guys. I hope it helps somebody out there. Feel free to give it a like. Thanks a lot. I'll see you in the next one.